Greetings everyone, and Great here for another Dawn of War 2 Elite Mod Replay. Spawn on the top left side as the Eversaur Assassin. We have Like... Like it? Like it. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Spawn as his Lord Commissar ally, we have Zero Cry. Spawn as the biggest and the strongest, we have a foreign name. Spawn as the Hive Tyrant, we have El Aileron. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name either. Oh, sorry, I just saw your, uh... Rumble Comets. Thank you. you know we're I really wish there's time codes when it comes to Rumble Comets, because I don't know how long ago you said that, and I was not paying attention. My apologies. Allies have captured a requisition point. We do now have these Strike Squad advancing on forward. Imperial right. Guardsmen being pulled yeah. out. Looks Let's like an assembled advancing on forward. Overall, looks like pretty standard build orders for everyone. We got two personal stormtroopers, two Imperial Guardsmen, two shooters, and two Hormer. Oh, wait, two Hormer guns? Not two Termagons? Okay, that's a little bit less common. We got gate here, and Pierre Carson do play a little deployable cover there. Close to shove all your people behind that. Lord Kalmazar is advancing at four, trying to tie up the shooters there. More shooters advancing on four. And up here, just movement around. The other uh, blue player is in the center of the map. And Pierre Carson engaging the biggest and the strongest. And now we do have the war boss sink the damage there. Over here, we do have the Lord Kalmazar hacking apart these shooters. Now got the Hive Tyrant trying to eat the Strike Squad. The Soul Stone Troop is engaging the Hormagons. The War Boss has received quite a bit of damage there. It does fall back in time, but keep the War Boss selected while he retreats on back. He should have plenty of health to retreat on back. Though. Strike Squad engaging the Hormagon Squad. Both the Hormagon Squads are falling back. And we got the Hive Tyrant engaging the Eversaur Assassin forces and does fall back himself. Lord of Commissar falls back to minimal health. The War Boss does escape out of there. And when they shoot us down to two models there, the Sentinel will see quite a bit of fire. Imperial Guardsmen have been up by the Sergeant. Only one of them, though. The other one has not. I do have a heavy weapon team now being blocked by the Imperial Guard. You also got a uh, Purgaton squad. I've been told that's not Purgatation, but Purgaton. Purgaton? Purgaton squad now being blocked on the field. Got the power trainer now being pulled on the field. The Spear Guardsman does fall back there. This one does not have a certain upgrade. And the remainder of the squad is going to stay in the fight. Sentinel has not been upgraded to stomp, so we're going to see a full retreat there. Lord Collins are advancing more to engage the Slugger right there, and the Slugger squad is falling back. May receive some hits there, and we've got also the Abram Stead team there. Oh, here we've got the Strike Squad advancing forward with the Hormagons advancing forward with the Termagons along the flank. Eversol Assassin will see some hits there from the Termagon, and we've got the. Impressor Stormtroopers in the back line. Over here we do have the Lord Combs are charging forward. We've seen the damage there. Shields up, shields down. Pain Boy out in the field. Eversol Assassin now bans it forward. Turn Hormagons to see a bit of fire there from these various forces. Purgaton Squad, Asdol Strike Squad making their way forward as well. And now I do have a Ravenor group now pulled on the field, as well as some Storm Boys in the field queue. Or is that Ludas? It's Ludas. The script is Daka Daka Daka. Needs more Daka still. Oh, and the Purgaton Perg squad does burn, scorch the earth right there. Does get a bit damage on the Eversaur Assassin. Because the Ravenor group does knock back all these forces, forcing them all back, allowing the Hive Time to help secure up the region. Okay, now we do have the Sentinel turn to this point there. Some sort of upgrade got cancelled for the Lord Commissar. And now there's some of those who are seeing some repairs on the front line. Pain Boy trying to inflict pain, not give, not to treat pain though. Sir, our advantage is slight. He kept that point there. So the Every weapons team now on. set on up and now falling back right there. And now do have the Slugger squad being upgraded to some Burnos. There's a pair of guardsmen. Needs to fall back and some reinforcements. Found three out of nine models there. It's not a whole lot. Got a multi last hurt here. I'm not a big fan of the multi last hurts. I don't feel like they just do enough. Imperial Guardsmen now trying to repair up the Sentinel once again. Get some more power generators out. Got a nice line of them. Over here, just the one synapse generator. And we've got two generators over here. And we've got two generators over here. Sentinel is now fully repaired. And the war boss is falling back. Now he's being upgraded to the boss pool, which signifies him as the biggest and the strongest boss. 
acquisition points been acquired by our allies. Lewis is going to input position there. Hogan spins the pressure both those Imperial Guards there and annihilates the... Wait, that Sinnoh was at full health. What the hell just happened? Uh, Lunar Squad getting annihilated right there. Lunar Squad needs to fall back. The Lunar Squad may go down, but... What just hell just happened to Sunno? Wasn't it at full health? Lunar Squad gets an, uh, wiped out. Hormagons see a bit of damage there. But of course, our Stormtroopers engaging the Hormagons in the melee. The Hormagons are eating them at the moment. Now, do you have the Eversaur testing the upgrade of the Eversaur? Ever... Eviscerator Axe, which is not an axe I've seen people upgrade it. It's a powerful axe, grants the kill zone ability, increases the melee skill and melee damage of the ally of an allied infantry. As well as we have 50 power melee DPS. We have an edge for now. Eversaur Assassin does get hit by a crippling poison from the Termagant squad. I have Titan Hansman upgraded the extended compare pace. Grants the charge ability. Lord Palmer's Ark giving the run around to these forces. Got a symbol here. Okay, it's a fresh sentinel as well. Of course, the other one went down. Argentine squad and strike squad of Bateshead Ford. Bang. I'm not sure what that means. Flying. If your guards do get knocked back by the stomp of the war boss, war boss is now falling back. Burner squad advance forward. We've got the Hormogons in the back flanking the Lord Kalmazar's forces. Both the Pigweb team and the Pure Guards are falling back. We'll see a bit of losses in the retreat. But you will escape on out there with all those squads. Crystal Stormtroopers advance it forward. Strike squad. He may just want to be a bit not aggressive since he sees how many forces he's fighting. Someone was fighting against. Another Sinash generator being plugged here. Purgaton squad does fall back. And now everybody has tier 2 in the build queue, just the war boss is going a little bit late with his biggest and the strongest tier 2. Grenade was thrown, knocking back the Hormagons. I turned to charge and forward, knocking back the Inquisitor Stormtroopers. Ravenor Brood is getting knocked back by Grenade as well, and so we see the cast there from the nearby squad. And now got the Inquisitor, one Inquisitor Stormtroopers falling back, the other one's now falling back as well. Eversaur Assassin forcing back the High Tyrant, and we have the Crippling Poison there on the Eversaur Assassin. If you're a Guardsman, try to repair up the Sentinel. We've got the Frag Missile Launcher upgrade, very nice. The War Boss is falling back. Position points in trouble. And the power of pain points catch up to some of these other sectors. Lord Comsar has no guard of the flak jacket and place inspired courage of inspired terror, allowing him to execute uh, enemies. That's also increased the max cell. I do have now Lord Comsar seeing some fire from the shooters. They've been upgraded with both the knob leader and the Daka 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 upgrade for the big shooters. Daka 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 is the mech boy upgrade variant. So Stormtroopers advancing on forward. We do have the Sluggers advancing on the flank. We're seeing a bit of fire there. Strike squad in pursuit. Gain some damage onto them. Sentinel gain some damage on in. So Stormtroopers trying to get some more damage on these forces. Hormagons and Termagons on the flank. We do now have a Zonothrope now pulling the field as well as a Weird Boy. And we now we do also have a Purifier squad deployed on now as well. So I'm going to throw forward, trying to find engagement over here. We do also have these forces engaging down here. Just throwing some, just skirmishing around. Those are the Ordo Malleus players on the base of four, trying to get some damage on in. Tri-Squad does get knocked back, as well 
by the Kazor Stormtroopers. Rear fires and Purgatane squad on being on the field. Gain some damage over here. He does get a uh, Scorching Earth right there. Gains good damage. Every small assassin gains some slices there on the Formicon squad. And looks like the high tyrant forces are pulling back. So we got the Termagons back line. And these forces trying to push their way forward. Those forces do fall back there. It looks like a lot of dead Imperial Guardsmen here. He sells both those squads of light. Those team may have lost that fight, but we do not have the heavy weapon scene being pulled out right there. We've got a tired guard now pulled in the field as well. The pure fires could be able to do some damage versus tired guard. Not a massive damage, but some damage. Strike squad does force back to force. I've got artillery tower now going up. And melt the bomb does connect like, onto the tired guard. Your Fox not trying to deal with the Tyrant Guard there, unable to really withdraw properly. He's going to try to potentially tr charge away, we've seen some damage there. Holding down the last moment, the Eviscerator actually won't do enough damage there. Trying to scorch Earth there, I think that was a bit of a uh, weird boy bomb there, and those of the Order of Mouse players falling back and will save his Tyrant Guard. The Eviscerator says may go down there. Man, no, he should be able to skip out now there. Though the Sentinel's going to see some damage, it does get the point to capture there. I don't think he has a stomp upgrade to run away with, and now the symbol's down to minimal health and should be able to get gunned down. We're losing a requisition point. Okay, we haven't seen Alpha being pulled on now, gains some good damage on these forces. A hey, team suppressing down the shooter right there. We've got the zone throw firing away. Let's do it. Oh, We've got these points uh, being captured on up. Shooters receiving a bit of damage there. The zone throw is still firing away. Gain some Go great ahead, damage sir. on the heavy weapons team. Needs a fall back sooner rather than later. We have the uh, we've got tier three being researched by the Hive Tyrant, and we've got Cadian Cursion Squad being pulled out now. So looks like the Imperial Guards already got his tier three. Pure Guardsman gains some good damage there. Got one more squad of Pure Guardsman here. Both of them the Kalmazar and annihilates that. Was that a Hormagon or Termagon? It was a Hormagon. The original Hormagon. Uh, that's a mind drop there. And the Head Weapon Team needs to fall back. Got a personal Stormtrooper space at four. Pure Fires and Strike Squad against Force Will. It's a cast there on those forces that are falling back. Uh, the Weird Boy is flying out of control, so he must have been wiped out by something. I didn't realize how low health it was. And the Weird Boy does detonate way over there. Now got another Pillar Tower there. Hive Tyrant and Tyrant Guard. And Ravner Bruce still on the front line. Turn Formagon's trying to gaze the strike squad. Turn Formagon's still on the back line. That's the Emotive Bomb hit there on the Tyrant Guard once again. Hive Tyrant's falling back entirely. Ravner Bruce does knock back the Imperial Guardsman. And now looks like Tyrant Guard is trying to hold down Elon up. We'll see some plas overcharged plasma gunshots. Being partial squad, being upgraded with the sergeant, and has been upgraded with grenade launchers. Stick bombs, however, raining on hand from the orcs. More grenades raining on hand from the stick bombs. Get some good stun grenades. And I always think that's a bit of a seizure warning for those stun grenades. Let's get some damage down the tyrant guard. Well, in the pier of our squad, he's a fall back. And it looks like one of the, I think the Ravener group one probably got wiped out there. At least how is it? I'm not sure what got wiped out. Grenades are raining on in. We've got the Orson grenades are raining on in. And now we've got, I'm not sure what ability that is. Something from the, uh, oof, we lost the hit weapons team. Uh, Fist, oh, Fist of Brockus. That gives. Uh, legendary power oh, yeah. fist grants this none shall fall ability inspiring the infantry they will no models can die while duration <laughs> that's a powerful ability to say the least but they still take health damage your palmazar needs to fall back seeing a bit too much damage right there there's a shield there that's being upgraded the emperor's wrath get that what that one is is that the basilisk barrage one let's find some of these landmines there so i can clean up the landmines
Finds more of these landmines there with his knob leader. So he has two squads of stick bombers. Somehow this uh, multi laser turret, last turret is still up and going. Let's get some knockbacks there. We've got some grenades raining on in. There may be stun grenades. Yep, they are stun grenades. And here we've got some fans forward trying to get spams on the shooters. Now we've got the regular stick bombs raining on in. Uh, lots of stick bombs. Okay, some great damage there on the pure guardsmen. And the Kaden Karsha squad. Most of the Kaden Karsha squad, there's most of the members of the Kaden Karsha squad right there. Just a sergeant that's running around. Oh, does find some landmines there. There's still these landmines here. Knocking back this entire force. Knocking back the entire force right there, but needs to fall back. It's a little bit too wounded, a little bit out of the gun. Now I've got the Crystal Stormtroopers and the Pure Fire Squad advancing on forward. More grenade on hits are right there, but I'll stun grenades there. Now I got a uh, Nurn throw before on the field. More mines right there, more st uh, stun bombs down the Pure Fires. More stick bombs there, trying to hit the Kading Parsha Squad. So it's all the members alive. More knockbacks there. And right now, the Pure Fire Squad is receiving quite a bit of damage there. Kading Parsha Squad is still so firing away. Got knockbacks there. We've got the Perfect Squad trying to. Get some hits there. Tyrant Guard is still alive, but that's a fresh one. No level of efficiency whatsoever. Nurn throw finds some landmines there, but can only be knocked back by it. And now we do got the pain board receiving bit of fire there. He's going to upgrade the cyborg and plants. I'm not sure who he upgraded on. Sluggers or stick bombers gain some damage there. More stick bombs ring on in. It's a stun and high explosive. Grenades raining on in, forcing them back. Get some great damage on the spear guardsmen there. The war boss advanced forward, no additional upgrade. The war boss shoot is still firing away, gets good damage on in. And now the super bombs are falling back. Now the upgraded, Charlie on some chain stealers. Right now, Red has less VPs at the moment, but overall, it looks like, like Red has more force out of the field. Lord Commissar is eyeing for something big. He may be eyeing for a Bane Blade variant. Good knockback there by the Kading Karsha squad. And he's still trying to get some hits on the Moji last turret. Getting some damage over there. We've got these forces advancing so on forward. The Tyrant Guard and the Nurnthroper are still in the region. And we've got the Pargaton squad upgrade with the Conversion Beamer. And now we've got Daisy on the big on the build Q4, the biggest and the strongest. So Sword Trooper gains some hits uh actually at that point there. Lord Commissar does go down. And now we've got the uh Air Source Assassin does fall back so unable to revive the Lord Commissar. More stick bombs running on in. I think there's more landmines being brought in as well. Good stun grenades there. Also stuns his own pain boy. Grenades ran on the Crystal Stormtrooper. Here across my fans board trying to get some hits there onto the Slugger Squad. Stick bombs and shooters are in this region. Suppressing down one of pure guardsmen. And now I do have the Storm Lord being pulled on now. Your guards from advance board. We've got more stick bombs raining on Andrew and this force. And now we also have got a Vortimore Razorback pull on the field. Oh, they changed the icon a little bit. Now it's a glowing blue turret. Like if it has, like, I don't know, like that eye shimmer thing. I don't know. That's a stupid reference. That's what I can describe it though. Stick bombers received quite a bit of damage, but it's getting some good damage there onto the getting parts of the squad. Game squad needs to fall back. Charging up four as well. Warm up raise back. Same bit of fire there. Kidding Carson squad is full of training. Should they have to skip on out there? There's our stormtroopers receive a bit of fire there. Guys get a motor bomb on the tyrant guard there. Start hitting books and down the tyrant guard there with the warm up raise back. There's our stormtroopers advancing on forward. The pier fires are against the pits there onto the hive tyrant. And does got another motor bomb there onto the tyrant guard. The tyrant guard does go down there. Hive tyrant's almost going down. So the hive tyrant does go down there as well. Raise Ravner Bridge, same bit of fire. Now we got Daisy. Maybe be able to crush the conversion beamer. Yep, knocking back the conversion beamer there, Daisy. One more raise back quick as it is there on the Daisy. There's no stormtroopers in the back line. Got the Ravner Bridge, same bit of damage there. And the Ravner Bridge does. 
go down there. Base is now being loaded by the stick bombers. The pain boy does heal the stick bombers. And now I've got the fear higher squads falling back. Base still has a plenty of health remaining. Now I've got some uh commando squad being plotted field, and now I've got the storm lord being plotted field. Baltimore Razorback still dancing around at maximum range. His primary weapon is deceptively strong, honestly. The pain boy received quite a bit of damage right there. Daisy is going to be forcing back the Baltimore to raise it back. And now we do have the Lord Combs on Captain Point. Yep, the Empress Wrath is off map Basilis. Hermagons received a bit of damage there. Storm Lord is advancing on four look forward. Has a lot of extra barrels there. And now I've got the hard effects of Venom Cannon getting some great hits down the Voldemort Razorback. Voldemort Razorback looks like escapes under there. Crystal Storm Trip needs to take time repaired up. The Lord Palmas are, I was gonna say, while bunker repair bunker will be very useful for the Storm Lord. Allowed to really plant in. Uh, is that the foot of Gork? Holy crap! I am not sure what that was. Imperial Guard Squad has those ultra models, but less than 20% health. Reversion Beam and Melter Bomb to connect with Chronic Effects there. Daisy Summon Freedom. Storm Wolf Fans Forward, Imperial Guard Squad as well. Looks like it does knock back the Reversion Beamer a little bit. More more race back, still need some extra health there. And there goes the Carnifex. Daisy's still firing away against good hits there on the Pure Guardsman. Stick bombs raining on it, stun grenades primarily. War hits there. Daisy's getting some great work done with those wounded forces. Got the Swaggo Squad advanced forward trying to open up the uh, Gain Carter Squad of Milk Guns. Gain Carter Squad of Milk Guns received five damage. Daisy still has plenty of health. War more race back has prepared a decent amount. Work forces falling back. Way forward, trying to deal with the various forces there. Trying to find the rear armor there, trying to overrun the conversion beamer. Those overrun the conversion beamer. The turret is not hitting the Baltimore Razor back. Gene Sears is in the back line now. Never so has to get some hits there. He is, does get a moment bomb there on the Daisy. Now we do have the uh, steamrollers right there, charging forward. Gets the bomb, does it? Nope. Now it's slowed down by the motor bomb. Daisy, you've seen quite a bit of fire there. And Daisy does go down, but now I got rocks raining on in. Maybe a little bit too late for rocks, but it does get some good damage on these forces right there. Okay, the Karch Squad seems to fire. Storm Order seems to clear splash fire. And Red's now down four tickets. This point's being recaptured up, and when this point's recaptured, that's gonna be game. Turn throw. Now falling back. Two. One and that's game. Victory. And that is the end of the replay. This is Andrew saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.